Yo, what is going on guys? Lottery Stocks here. Please smash that like button if you get anything out of this video and hit that subscribe button to join the Lottery Stocks fam on this journey. So as you guys know, the Ape fam is doing strong, AMC and GameStop doing strong. As you guys, if you guys um, are only in on GameStop, which you might be because you're watching this video, or you are in on both, right? So the past few days, AMC has not been performing too well, but it's also not at its low. Uh, GameStop, on the other hand, has been slightly, slightly, slightly in an uptrend, and that is good for GameStop. It looks strong. The last day we closed above uh, 3.7%, as you guys can see up here at the top. And as for Monday, we have a lot of things coming into play for next week. If you guys have not watched my other GameStop video, we go more into depth on GameStop and what it is going to hit during the squeeze, peak price prediction, and also when the squeeze will actually happen. Now, I know this video is sort of a slow video to start off, but what I want, what I actually want to show you guys more than the price prediction, which is actually the options chain. I'm sorry, I can't really talk too crazy right now. But I'm going to take you guys over. So right now I'm on Webull. If you want Webull, hit the link in the description to download Webull, sign up, put your first hundred in, and me and you as well will both get free stocks. Yes, what I'm doing right here with technicals, you can learn yourself, you can practice yourself, all on Webull. You can set up your charts just like this. This is not the chart I trade with. It is just better to make videos for you guys on this chart because it is wide and it is easy to view. Um... Before I show you the prediction for Monday for GameStop, I want to show you the actual options chain for GameStop, which I thought was really, really interesting. So as you guys can see right down here for GameStop stock right here, GME options chain, you guys can see expiring on May 28th. Now, this was actually um, really interesting for AMC too. on my last AMC video. Lots of the calls were above the $20 range. Now, expiring May 28th. If you guys don't know what a call option is, so pretty much to break it down, people have bets that the stock will go up and they actually have bets that the stock will go up and be above this price. This is their strike price. So as you guys can see, May 28th, all the way here, these are just some of the options. Call all calls right here. And they are all in the 300. So we have 370, 360, 350, 340, 330, 320, 310, 300, 290, 280. As you guys can see, um, this is pretty much just how many calls are at each level. And you guys can see consistently the calls are very high. Now, in a normal market, um, whether, bullish, uh, whether bullish or bearish, in a normal market, you would not see this. You would probably see, let's say, game stops at 100 bucks. You'd probably see options chain at 105, 110, something like that, something along those lines. Nothing insane like this. And if you guys don't know, they had, they're actually um, filing for the options chain, so it's not able to extend your price out too crazy pretty soon, and also your expiration not too far out. So guys, this is actually looking very promising for GameStop. This is showing a lot of people are betting that by the end of next week, May 28th on Friday, we will close above this price or somewhat in this price range. So that is actually good for GameStop. And I can tell you right now, 100%, if we do close around any of these insane prices, you will see the margin call and probably the short squeeze. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it to you guys, right? So that is actually very good for us. Now we're gonna go over to the technical side of things. I'm on the two hour chart. I know I have a lot of levels of resistance and support written out and the falling wedge that we've already broken out of, but we didn't really break out too strong. So I could probably move the wedge out a little further if I wanted to. But really in reality, what I wanted to say was if we were following patterning guys, you've seen this. If you guys can see this in the slight downtrend starting from up here, it kind of is in what's sort of like a wide v shape and i can see us rising from here on out i don't see more dropping right i think the downtrend is finally over now we can slightly be trending up above this line now if that was the case we would stay above 175 for monday and we can go anywhere from 175 into the 200 dollars range 
that is that is really not asking for much and that's me being conservative right so if you guys have not seen the dd on gamestop i would really go check that out it pretty much explains how back to back two days of next week will see spikes in someone's dd it's pretty much t plus two one t plus three five happening in the same week it has not happened yet right and both of those times in his patterning we have seen spikes and they were supposed to happen back to back this week so maybe that's why call options are so high for next week and i can tell you guys right now i told you in a couple videos before if we hold above 220 the hedge funds do not like it because as you guys can see the very very easy rise that we had way back when we jumped to 348 was very very quickly short ladder attack downwards they do not like us above the 220 dollar range because we have not returned since right they are trying to keep us well below and potentially breaking 220 holding 250 etc we should definitely trigger the squeeze um if I wanted to go real in depth for Monday, you probably won't see much unless we have some sort of catalyst. But if we can follow this trend, I, I really don't see any dips happening on Monday. Um, you can see GameStop wanted to pop on Friday, but of course we have had call options. Um, it had to be shorted down, manipulated a little bit at least but i don't see honestly much going on with gamestop as i do for amc but guys don't that does not mean pull out of gamestop and put into amc right because you guys got to think if amc gets margin called and the hedge funds have to buy their shares back for amc then that just means their liquidity will be less and less and less and then potentially getting margin called for gamestop after buying back amc and if they can't pay for gamestop shorts back because they are already covered their positions in AMC, then the broker will have to do it, and which is then we do set the price. So there you have it, guys. That is pretty much all I have for you, your guys for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button to join the Lottery Stocks fam on this journey. I love all you apes. Lottery Stocks out. Who the hell we gonna get to this? Bad when we focus on pumping, but trapping is all that we got. All of us gonna make it one day like church.